How's it guys? Welcome to the installation guide for Dolphin Emulator. It's an emulator that will help you play GameCube games, as well as the installation guide of how to play this game, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, with my reshade preset, as well as to upgrade the textures of the said game. All links will be provided in the description below in this video. So let's get started. What you would need is Dolphin Emulator. So once you come to this link, dolphin emu.org click on the download button here you'll be sent to this downloads page there are different versions is the beta version de development version as well as a stable version but even the developers of the uh, emulator say to not use this because this is way out of date so what we're going to use is the beta version I'm running Windows 64 so I'm downloading this version as well as the HD texture pack for Metal Gear Solid. So come to this link, scroll all the way down to the download links. There's two different mirrors. Let's just choose one. Click download. As you can see, it's starting to download, as well as the game itself. So you can either search for Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes ISO file or ROM. Um, this is the ROMs that I used, which is this one over here, which is this link. Ah, get away. All right. So it's the USA version, disc one and disc two. That's what I downloaded, and those are the three different files that you will need. Once everything has been downloaded, create a folder anywhere on your computer. I just uh, created the Dolphin Emulator folder on my D drive. Uh, in that, I copied over the two ROMs, as well as the HD texture pack, as and Dolphin Emulator itself. So this folder is just the extracted file from this zip. So to install Dolphin Emulator, all you have to do is just extract this file anywhere you want to on your PC. Mine is over here. Once you're in the folder, I created a second folder called ISO. And this is where I've extracted the Metal Gear Solid ROMs into. You can copy these ROMs into your ROM folder in if you have that, or just into a folder like this. Don't worry about the reshade uh, as of yet. Uh, I'll explain that later on in this video. As well as for the texture pack, uh, don't worry about that. That's gonna come later. Let's first just run Dolphin for the first time. Okay, double click on the EXE. It should pop up like this. Um, if you're running it for the very first time, a window should also come up with this, which gives you the option to send data to the developers, which can help them. This is totally optional. You don't have to do that. Um, you can click yes or no. And then after that, the window will go away and it will look like this. So what we first need to do is set our games directory where Dolphin Emulator can actually read our ROMs. So you can just double click and look for the folder that has all your ROMs. Ours is ISO. Click on that and select folder. And you'll, whatever ROMs that you have in that folder should all populate here now. So before we play the game, let's first go into our config. I'm not going to speak a lot on this. All you have to do is just pause the video and then just copy what I have here as your settings. Interface. Audio, paths, this is just where you can add extra paths uh, for other folders with other ROMs in. Take note of ticking this little box over here so that in case you have a ROMs folder that has subfolders with other ROMs in it, this allows Dolphin Emulator to search within those subfolders as well. Once everything is set, 
click close, go to graphics. So this is where you can choose which is your API renderer that you're going to be using per game. So uh, this might change depending on the game that you'd want to play on the day for Metal Gear Solid. Uh, OpenGL is the best version since it's the least buggy and less uh, visual glitches. Uh, for full screen, we'll set it to uh, stretch to window. This is the resolution that you'd want to play in. Uh, the lower the resolution, the better for your PC, but if you've got a beefier PC, you can up it to 5K. Anti-aliasing, mine is set to none. Uh, you can set it to whatever you'd like here. Uh, none is just because uh, those blocks are reshade from working. So I've set mine to none. This can be done on the fly while the game is running. So you can actually see uh, what, what it changes. Your controller. These are the different ports that you can uh, select. It doesn't really matter, but for Metal Gear Solid, especially for Psycho Mantis, this does matter because this is where you will change where your controller is sitting so that you can actually defeat him. Uh, once we choose a standard controller or GameCube or, you know, keyboard, um, I played with a normal joypad. So click standard controller and this is where you can configure each of the buttons for your gamepad so you just have to click on this and hit the a button on your joypad and or whatever button you want and it will configure it like that you will choose the profile name once everything is set up and you can click save and it should save it i've got gamepad and i'll test as well close that close that so for now let's run Metal Gear Solid for the first time all you have to do is click select the ROM that you'd want and you click play and it should pop up in a small window like this and you can move it around to get it full screen all you have to do is tap alt and enter and it should go full screen alt and enter again brings it back to window mode you could also click on the full screen over here. And alt and enter to make it smaller again. All right, everything's to be working. You can close it at any time. Click yes. Now let's go on to the upscale textures for this game. Locate your downloaded zip, which has the upscale textures uh, once you're in the zip all you have to do is copy that file the ggsea4 this name is very specific so don't change this go into your documents folder look for your dolphin emulator folder that was created by dolphin itself click on that go to load as well as textures and paste it in this folder as i've done here once that is done go back into dolphin go into graphics and when you go into hack not a hack sorry advanced under utilities just tick the load custom textures as you can see it's even telling you where you could copy that file that we just copied into in case you're looking for uh, where the folder is so it's user load textures and that folder name goes and then once you start your game again it should come up with a texture loaded okay it's behind cliche but how's that so now you can play Metal Gear Solid with 4K textures. Um, and if you'd like to play with my reshade preset, that'll be coming up in this next section. For reshade itself, all you have to do is get the latest reshade and 
either wait for Dolphin to come up here. I don't know if it does come up here. Let's just have a look see. If it doesn't come up in this section, all you have to do is go to Browse, go to the folder where you've installed Dolphin, choose dolphin.exe, click Open, click Next, choose OpenGL. Please rem remember to play Metal Gear Solid, we chose OpenGL. If you're going to play another game that has DirectX, whatever, 9 or 10, 11, 12 or Vulkan, then you'll have to re -down, uh, reinstall Reshade with that API and play that game. But we're going to choose OpenGL, click Next. Because I've already installed Reshade in Dolphin, I get an option to modify it or uninstall it. I'm just going to reinstall. Check all effects, click Next. Once you come to this screen, Reshade has been successfully installed. You can click Finish. And we can go back into our Dolphin emulator. And all you have to do in this root folder of Dolphin emulator, just copy over my preset um, into this section and load up Dolphin. Click on the game, play it. You should see the reshade menu load. Let's just make this full screen. To open up the reshade menu, just tap the home key on your keyboard. It should come up like this. And to load any other preset, all you have to do is go into this section here, choose it in here, and click select. Mine's already selected. And now you're running reshade on Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Uh, this is just a quick demo on the graphic section where you can actually do it on the fly. Once you, while the game is still running, you could actually just go in over here. This post processing is kind of like the reshade of uh, Dolphin Emulator, but they got bad ones like um, Acid Trip. See, it changes the game to Auto Tune, which does something else. Firewater, like it's all bad ones <laughs> but uh so i keep that off but this is where you can change to uh 1080p 720 or 5k as well as your anti-aliasing some part of the game cannot be changed on the fly like the renderer of course um but anything else you can show your fps while playing the game So some cutscenes are in 30 uh, frames per second and others are 60. So this is how you can check if uh, your settings are um, good enough. So to save and load the game, there are multiple ways. For Metal Gear Solid, I could save by, phone, by phoning Mei Ling um, and it's saved. If it does not work for you and your saves are not saving, then perhaps you need to go into your documents folder because this is where the save files are and your Dolphin emulator, right click, go to properties and uncheck the read only. Mine works with read only, but this will be the issue of why your saves are not being saved. So uncheck that and click apply and your save should be saved now. So to save a state, you can save it at any state uh, within the game. All you have to do is, let's just close all this. Once you're in the section and you want to save, Go to the emulator, go to save state, save slot, just choose a slot, slot 6, and you'll see there, everything has been saved. So that was here with this green little section, so let's just go past this. Okay, and if I want to load that up again, go to load, load 6, and there, it loads it back up. If I'll go to uh, load this section... Here you go. This is just after the fight with um, Raven. Okay. And as you can see, it's at 60 FPS with my reshade preset as well. So, but I got a beefy computer. 
So that concludes the guide for Dolphin Emulator as well as for uh, Metal Gear Solid and Reshade. Don't forget to leave a like if this guide has helped you out and ask any questions you want in the comment section. Thanks. Cheers.